Hey guys, this is George. I'm going to go over George's budget for Excel, which is personal budgeting software. Currently I'm in the account summary worksheet and there's different sections on this particular worksheet. Up top here is where you have your list of accounts that you've added. You can see that there's different type of accounts, checking, savings, and credit card. Over here you can actually set balance goals for them. So for example, the savings account, you can set a goal of how much you want in that particular account. If I scroll down, you have expense categories to watch and you can list your top five um, expense categories that you want to keep an eye on on this front page here. You can set them really easy. Just click over there and pick a different expense category. And below that is your monthly and yearly income statement and this is based off your actual numbers. There's also charts to reflect the numbers. And right below that, there's the category report and chart section. And then here, this allows you to track a particular category. In this case, it's restaurants and dining. And then you could also track it for different periods of time. In this case, it's this year. You can set them right there and pick the different items. This is both for income and expense items and then the different time periods. So this allows you to see trends in your data. So in this case, you can see that you're spending more on your restaurants and dining, and you can take corrective action. And over here, you can see these indicator lights that kind of also draw you to the tension of those two months where you went over budget. Okay, and I'm gonna scroll back up to the top here, and I'm gonna shrink that down just so you can see everything that's on that page. And that's basically some key information summarizing the data that you enter um, in the checkbook registers. Okay, so I'm going to zoom back out. And let's go to one of the checkbook registers. Let's take a look at this Chase checking. And I'm just going to point out a few items here. What's nice is you get to interact with the data. So you directly type in the data in the cell. You notice if I just had to type in W, it fills in the rest for me. Okay, so you just type in the data directly in the cells to enter transactions. I want to also point out these indicator lights. They're going to allow you to easily spot the positive and negative uh, numbers in your data. And also there's a yellow one for indicating the amount is zero. Over here, you can easily spot your cleared items and your items that are outstanding with these check mark, with the check mark and exclamation point. So you can easily scroll through your data. Up top here, there's also more summary data. You have total outstanding items two, which are these two right here. Your register balance, which is the running balance, in this case, the bottom item here, and the total cleared, which is the items that have been marked with the green check mark. So it's easy just to clear your items, like if you click right here, reconciled. And if you notice up here, this says two items. If I choose, click reconciled, that turns to a check mark and that turns to one item. And now you only have one item for negative $50 outstanding. And that's this item right there. Okay, so this makes reconciliation a lot easier. Also, you notice that you can split an item. So in this case, we went to uh, Walmart, spent $100, and you can split it among multiple categories. In, these, in this case, two different categories. It will also assign it a group number so that you can easily spot your split items as you're scrolling through your data. What's also nice is you can use these filter arrows for each column to filter and also do multiple filters on two columns or more. So let's say that we want in the category, we want to see, you can select off multiple items like this, or you could just search for an item like that, type it in. I'm going to say groceries. And we can see that in this particular register, two items met that particular filter for a total of $180. These are negative because the outflows, you enter them as negative amounts. So let's go ahead and clear that. You can just click right here. You can click clear, filter from category. 
or you could just click right up here and say clear all filters so up here there's additional macros that will do different things you can sort go to the new transaction delete toggle filter insert a row recategorize and you can jump to different sections of the program there's also the filter show outstanding so right now you can see one item is outstanding you can also um, scan this quickly see that one item right there but this will actually display just those items so if I click that it's going to provide a filter and show the rows that just show the outstanding items and you can see that one item shows up I'm going to go ahead and clear all filters so that's the registers I'm going to go back to the account summary here and I'm also going to show you the category list and budget you can set your own categories here income and expense you can change these you can also set your budget amounts for those categories and once you do that then you're going to be able to compare budget versus actual which is what you saw down here actual budget and then the chart okay but there's this is only five expense categories if you want to see them all you just go to reports and charts and now you have a list of all your expense categories for this particular month in this case it's December 2017 you can span um, go between different months right up here and different years this is the monthly report there's also the yearly report you just click right there and now you have full year report go back to the account summary so that's a brief overview of Georgia's budget for Excel.